Hey, hey, miser makers. We're gonna do a print of the day. And what we're gonna be printing is this little guy behind me is one of the face huggers from Aliens. And we are going to print out the leg today. We're gonna print out one of them, which you just do eight times to make this whole print here. I've already printed a couple of them. You can see one way over here and this one right here. And they're pretty big, they're, they're life size. Um, so they're really cool and we got Halloween coming up here and I love doing creepy crawly things and stuff and kind of getting in the mood of Halloween and so we're gonna actually print out one of the legs <laughs> uh, it's gonna be great so stay tuned for the video and if you like this subscribe like it share it with your friends okay here we go Okay, today we are going to print part of the alien facehugger. This is one of my favorite prints. What we're going to do is we're going to print out another leg, one that's a little bit more solid. I've had some issues with some of the first ones that I print printed. So now we're going to print the latest version with the different slicing that I've done where it's uh, with about an 80% infill, which is a lot better, a lot more sturdy, works a lot better. So here we go, let's print it. Cost roughly 61 cents for each one of these legs here. Takes about an hour and a half. So here we go. I definitely want to spray this with a little bit of hairspray. because the legs, especially the tips, the fingertips on these alien legs can sometimes warp off of the bed. So I like to get a little hairspray on there so it sticks better for a much better print to where when the pieces are glued together, it's, uh, it's, it's seamless. One of the advantages to this enclosure is not smelling the hairspray after spraying it. Whew, that's nasty. Now what I did with this is I uh, made it all one print for one specific leg. There's all kinds of different versions that come with the STL files. This one has all of the segments of one leg, which is basically six pieces. It's two pieces for each segment, and then you glue them together for the full piece. So let's, let's kind of watch this first layer here, looking good. And I think we're okay with that little piece. Oh, I think I'm going to go ahead and move that just in case. I gotta go get it out of the way. Go ahead and clip it too so it doesn't have more problems. There we go. That should be fine. Obviously need to clean up, but that's always the case. Always needing to clean up. Bottom line is just getting the stuff printed. So it looks like we're off to a pretty good start. No warping yet. We'll have to see how it goes along the way. One reason I keep it up at 60 degrees on the hot bed, it helps it stick much better on this glass. We've got Halloween coming up here. It's almost the beginning of September. So. When we want to print several things for Halloween, it takes a little while to print some of them. We want to go ahead and get started. Kind of have a little festive environment for our Halloween with some new prints instead of having to go buy a bunch of decorations and stuff. So this print looks like it's going along. So we'll check back in a little bit later. So here we are almost an hour into the print of this alien face hugger leg. The print's looking really, really good. Looks like it's um, sticking to the glass very well, so it should turn out to be a good, good piece, good print. So we've got, oh, about 30, 35 minutes or so left. We will check back in a little bit. One of the keys to printing on glass to get a successful print 
is to have it hot enough because you're losing a little bit of the heat going through the glass from the heat bed. So it's important to have it at a hotter temperature. So as you can see for this PLA, I run it at around 60 degrees for the hot bed. It's very important for it to stick to the glass. I want another advantage of having glass on there is once it cools down, it's very easy to remove. You're not going to have as hard of a time uh, removing it from the glass as you would typically from tape or even uh, some other type of um, surface on there. So I love printing on glass and it's extremely cheap. So here we've been printing the leg for about an hour and a half so far. And we've got about, it says about 11 minutes left on the print. So we're coming to the end here. And we'll see how it turns out. Looking pretty good right now. Everything's still down on the glass really well. So I don't see any warping. So it should be a good print. In the enclosure, it's 30.5 degrees C, and outside it's 28.8 degrees C. So it looks like there's about a two degree difference, so it's a little bit uh, about two degrees warmer inside, which also will help it um, adhere to the glass. Okay, the leg print is almost complete. Just got a couple of minutes left. As it's finishing up the top of the highest bones there. Got one little stray string there but that looks like to be the only problem there we'll just trim that off and should be good to go do you need the oil there we go we are finished nice okay so now we are going to take this print off. This is the alien face hugger, one of the legs. So now that it's cooled down, it's sat here for a while so it's totally cool, these should come off really easy. Look at that. See? That's one of the nice things with glass, is it just comes right off. Look. Just pops right off. Very easy. You don't have to worry about it's stuck on tape or anything. Here we need to clean that up with just a little bit. A couple more pieces on there we gotta take off. But look how nice that was. And I love the finish on these. It's just so smooth. It's just a, a like a glass-like smooth finish. You can see the lines just a little bit, but it feels just like the glass that it was printed on. It's awesome. Let's trim this up just a little bit. Get some of these little pieces off. One one thing I love about printing this type of print is even if you've got some imperfections in the print, since it basically looks kind of like bone, that normally you know it's kind of an organic uh, look and it has little fissures and things all on there. Anyway, it just makes it look more natural. Actually, let's clip these off here. Yep. One more here. Snippity doodah. Snip snip. There we go. These turned out really, really good. So this should be a good leg. Like I said, I printed this at 80% infill. When I had first printed some of these legs, they kept breaking when I was putting them together. So the 80% makes it a lot more solid and they do well. So I'm going to show you how. I glue these together. I just use regular super glue. Okay, it's not the gel or anything, it's just the original super glue. I got this, like I said, I'm a miser, so we gotta get this stuff cheap. Got it at the dollar, I think it was a dollar general store, and it was um, two, a, a pack of two of these. Uh, 
It was either one or two dollars. So anyway, this was a dollar or less. So let's make sure these fit good. So this is one leg. Let's take these pieces. So the way it works, they go together just like this. That's how it's gonna how it's gonna be. So we want to get it as close as possible where you don't see that seam very much. You can always sand it a little bit afterwards, but the better we do now, the better. So I just put a few drops on there. And this, especially this last batch of PLA, tends to stick really, really quick with this super glue. So you don't need much. I put a little drop on each end piece there, and that right there. Now, let's stick it together, let's get as close as possible because you don't have much time to adjust it. Just kind of adjust it just a little bit. There. It's about as close as it's going to get. Looks pretty good. Alright, nice. Now, I could just leave it like that, but I, a lot of times I like to clamp them. So what I'll do is I'll actually clamp it in here, but we're just going to set this to the side for now. I think that one's going to be fine. Let's do this other bigger one. Same thing. Here we go. Drop there. There and there. A couple in the middle here. One on that end. Just make sure as close as possible before. See, this one's not perfect. It looks like it raised just a little bit on the glass somewhere. This side looks good. This one here is not perfect, so I might want to clamp that a little bit. But for the most part, it looks good. Okay, I'll put that one aside. And on this one, we want to make sure it looks really good. This is going to be the fingertip one. Yes, that one's going to go together real nice. And this one usually don't have much time at all. So here we go. We'll run a couple of drops right here on the edge, middle, and then definitely on the fingertip. Okay, we've got to get this one right, right off the bat. And boom. Quick, quick, quick. Make sure it's right. Adjust it if necessary. Okay, I think we've got it. That looks great. Clamp this one a little bit. So I clamp right here. And then I put a little binder clamp. Same, same ones I use for the glass. Put it on the tip there. Okay. So that's it. We just let it sit for a little bit. I mean, it's pretty much bonded now, but I like to let them sit for a little while. Make sure they got a good seal. And then we'll stick it together. So now we've got the pieces all dry, and we're going to snap them together and make a leg. There we go. Let's check this out. Let's trim this one just a little bit more. That's all right. Okay. All looking pretty good. So let's pop these jokers together. This is the top part. And this goes on to the body here. And we've got this piece. Let's put these together. Kind of rock it in. So you get so all that infill in there. Wow, that's tough. 
It's better than breaking like the um, other ones did. Let's see here. Wow, that is tight. Mmm. Golly. I'm pulling muscle trying to get it in there. Shows you how strong PLA can be. There we go. Whew. That is some kind of tight. So it's not going to flop around, that's for sure. All right, let's get the finger on there. Now this is the one that would break off a lot when the infill was a lot less. This would just snap right off. Let's see what we got here. Boy. Mm. Oh, it broke. Look at that. Even with that much infill, of course that's a edge piece. Snapped right off of there. Wow. I have to rethink this a little bit. Let me use one of these. This is these are also some I printed earlier that are ready to go. It's a nice thing about 3D printing, you can always reprint a piece. Now that one is not very good. You can see that seam real bad. But let's use it for now. See if we can get it in there without breaking this one. It's better, but it did. No, it's it broke it. Wow. It's gonna hold pretty good though. And I still I'm gonna have to redo that one. The joys of 3D printing. So there's the leg. Pretty cool, huh? We got Halloween coming up here pretty soon. So this type of stuff is perfect. I'm going to be printing some more pieces of this. This is just the one leg. There's eight legs on there. And we're going to print out the entire face hugger. It's going to be cool. <laughs>